Welcome, welcome on here at I need help at C square. We're gonna to look to an example how to expand a little binomial using Pascal triangle, this triangle you see here. And we're looking here and we notice power of five. So that means we're gonna to look to the for the sixth, sixth row. One, two, three, four, five. This is the row we're gonna look at. These are the numbers we're gonna use. And we're gonna get what? We're going to get 1 times, and now what do we see there? 2y, 2y to the 5th power. Plus, so that was this one. Then the next number I see is a 5. 5 times 2y to the 4th power times negative 3x to the 1st power. So you notice the sum of the exponents has to be 5. And we're going to move to the next number, which is 10. That is the coefficient for the next term in this binomial expansion. So that will be 10 times 2y to the third power. So one more exponent down, but we're going to add to the other one, right? Negative 3x to the second power. Again, 3 plus 2 is 5, which it should be always a way to check your work. And then the next one is again 10, so we have 10 times 2y to the second power, and then negative 3x to the third power. Then we're going to go to the next coefficient, um, uh, 5, plus 5 times 2y to the first power, negative 3x to the fourth power. And the last, the number in this row is 1, which means nothing else than 1 times negative 3x to the fifth power. And that is the expansion. Now we're going to do some simplification. And 2y to the fifth power is 32y to the fifth power, right? Times 1 stays the same. Well, let's take a look at the other one. And the, other one we, the next one, we have 5, right? times 2 to the 4th power times negative 3 to the 1st power. If we do all that math, we should get a negative, not a positive, a negative 240. Y to the 4th x. Let's go to the next one. The next one is 10 times 2 to the third power times negative 3 to the second power. Uh, and that will be, if we do all that math, 720. 720 y cube x squared. And then we're going to move to the next term where we see 10 this one, right? Times 2 squared times negative 3 to the third power. Negative 3 to the third power, negative 27, 2 squared, 4. Now, if we multiply all these values, we're going to get negative 1080 y squared x cubed. And let's go to the next one, which says what? 5 times this one. 2 times negative 3 to the 4 power. Negative 3 to the 4 power, 81 uh, times that 10, that will become 810. 810 y x to the 4 power. And the last one we have negative 3, negative 3 to the 5th power, right? This is the last one right here. That will be negative 243 x to the fifth power and that's it this is the final answer for this problem very important to have this pascal triangle to use it if you need if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more math thank you